Hi and welcome back to Free Science Lessons. By the end of this video you should be able to describe how to measure the rate of respiration using a respirometer. Ok, I'm showing you here the balanced chemical equation for the aerobic respiration of glucose. Now imagine that an organism such as this maggot is respiring glucose aerobically. For each molecule of glucose that this maggot respires, it will take in 6 molecules of oxygen and it will release 6 molecules of carbon dioxide. So during the aerobic respiration of glucose, the volume of oxygen taken in and the volume of carbon dioxide released are the same. I've now placed some maggots into a test tube. This test tube contains a capillary tube with a small volume of coloured liquid. So as we've seen, if these maggots are carrying out aerobic respiration of glucose, then the volume of oxygen taken in and the volume of carbon dioxide released are the same. So in this case, there will be no change to the total volume of gas in the test tube. And this means that the position of the coloured liquid will not change. Ok, I've now placed a small amount of a chemical called soda lime into the test tube. Soda lime absorbs carbon dioxide. So now the maggots are still taking in oxygen, but the carbon dioxide they release is being absorbed by the soda lime. This causes the volume of gas in the test tube to decrease, and the coloured liquid moves to the left. Now how quickly the coloured liquid moves tells us the rate of oxygen uptake, and this tells us the rate of respiration. I'm showing you here a close-up of the capillary tube. In an experiment, the coloured liquid moved by 10 mm in 5 minutes. Now if we know the internal diameter of the capillary tube, then we can calculate the volume of oxygen taken in. In this case, the internal diameter of the capillary tube is 2 mm. This means that the internal radius of the capillary tube is 1 mm. The internal area of the tube is calculated using pi r squared. We'll take the value of pi as 3.14. The internal radius is 1 mm. This gives us an internal area of 3.14 mm squared. The volume of oxygen taken in will be the internal area of the capillary tube multiplied by the distance moved by the liquid. This gives us a value of 31.4 mm cubed for the volume of oxygen taken in. To calculate the rate of oxygen uptake, we need to divide the volume of oxygen taken up by the time. This gives us a value of 6.28 mm cubed of oxygen taken up per minute. Ok, now there is one big problem with this respirometer. Any changes in temperature will affect the results. That's because gases expand if the temperature increases and contract if the temperature decreases. Now we can overcome this problem by using the respirometer I'm showing you here. In this case, the sample tube containing our maggots is connected to a control tube. The control tube contains glass beads with the same volume as the maggots. The two tubes are connected via the capillary tube. Both tubes are placed in the same water bath to keep the temperature as constant as possible. Now if the temperature does change, then this will affect the volume of air in both tubes by the same amount. And because both tubes are connected, any volume changes due to temperature will cancel. So because of this, any movement of the coloured liquid must be due to respiration alone. When using this respirometer, we start with the clamps open to allow free airflow. We then leave the respirometer for around 10 minutes to allow the maggots to adjust to the temperature and the rate of respiration to reach a constant level. We then close the clamps to seal the air and we start timing. As the maggots respire, they will take in oxygen and release carbon dioxide. The carbon dioxide will be absorbed by the soda lime, causing the volume of air in the sample tube to decrease, and this will cause the coloured liquid to move to the left. If we want to reset the respirometer, we simply open the clamps again. This returns the coloured liquid to the starting position. Ok, so hopefully now you can describe how to measure the rate of respiration using a respirometer. 